in the first lecture we have seen that in electrodynamics what is the role of operators we have seen the role of the gradient operator when this operator operates on the scalar field function in the last lecture we have seen the role of gradient operator this operator operates on the scalar field function and as a result what we are getting we are getting a vector you know vector have, we know that vector have direction and magnitude so uh, what information basically we have extract from the gradient operator when this operator operates on the scalar field del t this is the form of the gradient operator del or you can write this way gradient of t so gradient of t is basically a result of this operation is a vector in vector we know that have direction and magnitude so if we are if i write again it so this becomes del t upon del x i plus del t upon del y j plus del t upon del z k so this is a vector quantity gradient t result is a vector quantity so variation of the temperature along the x axis variation of the temperature y and z axis about but uh, what will be the direction the direction is i told earlier it indicate to the max change maximum change occur in which direction uh, from the gradient operation the direction basically represent to the maximum change where is the maximum change here as i have explained earlier this darkness represent to the higher temperature and this white portion basically represent to the lower temperature when i take the uh, gradient of this temperature field the direction basically will be towards the higher temperature similarly this is the field of potential and this is a positive charge when i take the uh, gradient of the potential field then i got a vector quantity vector result the direction of this gradient operation will be towards the maximum potential uh, maximum potential so the potential is maximum uh, towards the charge so this was the operation which we have seen into the last lecture now we have to see the operation of the second operator that uh, that is divergence when we take the divergence of any vector field function del dot e or del dot b what happens this is del dot e or del dot b it means take the divergence of any vector field and find out the result so the divergence is basically an operator that measures the magnitude of a vector field source or sink at a given point uh in our electrodynamics so when we are studying this chapter in electrodynamics the positive charge basically behaves like a source and negative charge behave like a sink so when i take the divergence of electric field basically i just uh, measuring or just defining the amount of flux uh, at uh, a particular point so the result basically of this uh, operation what indicate if suppose i am taking the divergence of the electric field del operator i know this is del operator represented by del upon del x i plus del upon del y j plus del upon del z k and vector e is equal to e x i plus e y j plus e z k 
when I take the scalar product between these two del operator and this vector E this is the scalar product between them so what will happen del upon del x i component E x i E x with i component these are the unit vector i j and k A scalar product between these two unit vector will be 1 i j will be 0 i dot k will be 0 similarly j dot i 0 j dot j 1 and j dot k 0 similarly for this k unit vector k i 0 k j 0 and this k k 1 so when i take the scalar product between delta and this e then i am getting del upon del x into this e x so del e x upon del x plus del e y upon del y plus del e z upon del z and from this operation what I am getting basically what information I got I am getting this variation of the electric field component along the x axis along the y direction and z direction this is only variation this is only magnitude along the x axis y axis and z axis so scalar function this result is basically j scalar when I take the operation of uh, divergence on any uh, any vector field function in this case I am considering here this uh, electric field what I am getting I am getting a result a scalar magnitude only so a magnitude could be a positive zero or negative so if I suppose get the result positive then what will be the mean physical meaning of this when I get the zero then what will be the physical meaning of this when the result is negative then what will be the conclusion if suppose divergence of P is zero then what will be the con conclusion what will be the physical meaning of this result so we have to see basically in uh, now the interpretation of this result what will happen when the result is positive result is negative or zero so uh, this is the physical picture physical picture of the divergence of electric field this is one is the positive charge this is the negative charge electric field lines basically starts from the positive charge and travel into the space till that they cannot reach up to the negative charge so these basically ends up to this negative charge positive charge behaves like a source and negative charge behave like a sink so I want to measure basically flux at this surface total electric flux passing through this closed surface this one is the closed surface closed surface means like uh, a surface of a sphere uh, same for this one this is also closed so this is a closed surface and um, or, or we can consider here a sphere and uh, at the center of that sphere we can assume that there is a positive charge plus this q so electric field lines are emerging from that source so total electric flux at the surface we can measure or we know that we can measure e dot ds this will be total electric flux this is phi e so total electric electric flux so I want to measure this electric flux with the help of divergence operation for that what we have to do I will just take the divergence of electric field at any point here here or at, at anywhere so if suppose oh, after this operation of the divergence my result is positive then what will be the conclusion and similarly at this negative charge 
this negative charge is at the center of this sphere surface is closed I am taking the operation of this divergence uh, of this divergence here so I am taking the divergence of this electric field and as a result I am getting a negative result so what will be the conclusion and at a particular point for this open surface this surface is open this is open surface a coil basically and here I am getting the operation of this divergence 0 so now I am getting this uh, result mathematically that is a scalar basically uh, the divergence of this electric field E here positive divergence of the electric field E here negative divergence of the electric field here that is 0 so now what we have to conclude from the physics point of view we seen here that electric field lines are emerging outward flux outward flux in reference to this closed surface so outward flux is positive this electric flux is inward direction in reference to this closed surface so the characteristics of the electric field is decide uh, is basically explained with the help of this divergence if divergence is positive then electric flux is outward if divergence is negative of that electric field it means electric field lines are converging they are approaching to the negative charge and if positive they are coming from the positive charge but what about the zero when the divergence of electric field at any point is zero how to explain how to interpret that physical picture for that purpose I have considered here an open surface a open coil like this one this is a closed path this one and then after this one this is a closed path. so I have considered this type and electric field lines are basically entering through this open surface so divergence of that electric field will be zero is zero uh, what basically is it means it means the total number of electric field lines which are entering through this surface inside are equal into the number which are coming out from the other faces so the total electric flux is zero from here this positive charge electric field lines are emerging and at this negative charge they are basically converging but at this point electric field lines enter through this one and coming out from the other surfaces in equal amount that's why the result del dot E equal to zero it means so this was the operation of the divergence and its physical interpretations uh, with the help of divergence we just measure the magnitude of that particular field whether that is a electric field or magnetic field divergence uh, means uh, just uh, measuring the magnitude of that field and uh, meaning of the result if positive negative or zero we can say the positive that uh, electric field or magnetic field lines are coming from the source or if result is negative that will be a sink in case of this this will be negative charge and this will be positive charge so this is the example clear example of del dot E is equal to zero when del dot E divergence of electric field is equal to zero this is the physical interpretations number of electric field lines enter through this end are equal to the amount which are coming from the other face of the open surface so in this situation divergence of E is equal to zero now the point is how to define it mathematically for that we are just considering any arbitrary field F this is kept F F is a function of a spatial coordinate X Y Z this can be represented in terms of its component along the 
x-axis along the y-axis and along the z-direction where i, j and k are the unit vectors. Now f1 is along the x-direction, f2 com field component is along the y-direction, f3 field component is along the z-direction. So when uh, I take the divergence of this field, the way of writing divergence of f like this or this one del dot f now del operator this is the del operator this one is the vector f so the result of these two is equal to this one only a scalar 